Okay. What is your name? My name is Pratri Malik. And where are you from, Pratri? I'm from Delhi, Rohini, India. Rohini, okay, Delhi. So tell me something about Rohini. What kind of uh, locality Rohini is? Um, people in Rohini are generally very hospitable. Mm -hmm. They take care of each other. Um, and um, the environment in general is pretty peaceful. Um. We see children playing around, running around, and old people walking, taking morning walks, evening walks, discussing their gender. What are a few problems faced by people of Rohini? Um, the main problem is the overpopulation. There are a lot of people who shouldn't be staying here but are still here. Um, the this increases the traffic, so um, there is a lot of jams on the road in general, mm -hmm. which also thereby increases the accidents. And um, also, what increased... have you seen in Rohini in the last 10 to 15 years? Um, I see a lot of development in Rohini in terms of better housing facilities, better electricity and water facilities. I see Rohini as a more developed area with um, more facilities in all in terms of uh, sports and um, you know, other co curricular activities like. What else would you like to see in Rohini in the next 10 years? Sorry? What would you like to see? What more developments would you like to see in Rohini in the next 10 years? The the biggest development that I would want to see is the increasing of green greenery around here. Because in, due to the overpopulation, that is on a very low point right now. Um, also, I would like to see um, cleaner roads. Um, better managed traffic and um, maybe more of areas like cafes and lounges for people to relax. Okay. Now I'm giving you a topic to speak on. I would like you to tell me about a good, uh, I mean, a uh, gift that you received in the recent past. So what was the occasion? You can just take down some points and this is what I want to talk about. What was the occasion? So the first point is occasion, right? What was the gift? Why did you like it? Who gave it to you? And uh, yeah, how did you use it? Okay, so um, you've got a minute to prepare and then two minutes to speak. Okay. So you're going to speak about a gift that you received in the recent past. What was the gift? Why did you like it? Who gave it to you? And how did you use it? All right. So during this time, you can make some short notes like occasion was birthday, gift was this, the reason you liked it is one or two. So you can just write down one or two words with regard to each question there and then you can elaborate upon it. Yes, you can start now. So, a recent gift that I have received was on my birthday. It was a Gucci perfume in the scent Guilty that was given to me by my paternal grandfather. I wear it every day and it reminds me of him. And since he's very close to my heart and I, whenever I wear it, I feel like he is with me. And um, since he acts like a support system... Uh, to me personally so I feel like I feel very confident whenever I wear it out see you are supposed to speak for one to two minutes so in such scenarios you can elaborate your ideas by starting with some kind of you know um, basic discussion about gifts and then talk about different types of gifts and then come to this so basically you can say that mm -hmm. Um, let me tell you about various gifts which I received on my birthday. It was not just about one gift, but then I received lots of things and I like uh, giving and receiving gifts. So on this particular occasion, <clears throat> my grandfather came to us 
and he gifted me with this special Gucci perfume. Uh, of all the gifts which I got, this one was very special because I got it from my grandfather. Actually, I asked him to bring this for me. He so take some stories. He okay. called me up before the birthday and he asked me and he gave me some of the options. And out of those, I chose this one, which he brought for me. Actually, he uh, did a lot of window shopping for it, going to the nearby malls and various places. And finally, he liked uh, this one and he brought it to me. So like this, see, basically, you have to create opportunities for yourself to showcase your English. It's not just about answering the questions. So Got from it. that perspective, you can elaborate and, you know, make some stories. Even if they are hypothetical, it's absolutely fine. Okay, got it. Right? And so you are not supposed to be very, very precise in this part. You can be a little descriptive, even to the extent that you can deviate a little bit here and there. Like nobody asked you how he purchased it. So you are okay. telling how he bought it and the whole process of bringing it to you, mating, you know, so you can... Basically, you have to showcase your English skills and ability to think on your feet and give words to your thoughts very fast. Okay, and be spontaneous in this part. Don't hesitate to make some stories. Otherwise, your English is flawless. You are able to select good words. You are able to present them in a good flow. There is a continuity. The ideas are cohesive. So from that perspective, I think you would score very good marks. But just that, it should also... You know, clear that parameter of time where you should. Yes, I forgot that I had to speak for two minutes. I was just answering the question that time. Yeah. I'm sorry. So that's what. Uh, okay, so this was the second section, and after this, there will be third section. Why do you think people give gifts to each other? Okay. Um, just asking for how long do I have to speak in this? So this last part is supposed to be descriptive. So you can kind of speak for, let's say, one to two minutes or maybe at least 30 seconds. But the yeah, point is, like, you can always forget how long could you speak. Let the other person interrupt you. And in case he doesn't, then you can build upon your ideas. The crux of the matter is there is no limit of time here. You can elaborate to the extent you want to. Okay. So why do um... people give gifts? Okay. Giving gifts has been a long, a long lost custom in India, which is now even flourishing even more. In the old times, people used to um, exchange gifts in the form of maybe bouquets or, you know, some sweets or um, maybe the gifts that they got from somewhere when they were traveling. Now, every time we see we, uh, we have guests at home, we give them gifts, they get us gifts, for, we get gifts for each other. So it is like um, a symbol of love and hospitality that we show to each other. Um, it, is, it, is in, it is in the form of gifts that we show that we value each other's presence and, um, you know, it will be, it will be something that will ca be carried forward to for the future generations as well. Um, gifts Do you carry... think that uh, an expensive gift is valued more than an inexpensive one? Um, no, I don't think so because um, it does not matter that how expensive the gift is. What matters is the thought and the wish that we are uh, the the thing that we are wishing for the other person. It is the will that matters and not the price. Uh, uh, a, a gift as small as a chocolate or a gift as expensive as a perfume, it won't matter as long as it is given with love. And why do you think people think that they should uh, give expensive gifts? Um, maybe it is their way to express love that they value the, uh, the other person so much so that they can spend X amount of money on them um to to just show their love it is it is in that way that they show that they can go to any limits to make the other person happy and make them feel loved about something okay fine i think this is fine so this section is okay so except for the second section where you are supposed to speak in a little elaborate fashion uh rest of the parts are fine and you're doing good you should be scoring high eight bands plus i think just taking care of those hygiene factors as we discussed 
where you speak for the given number of minutes and stuff. Otherwise, you are speaking nicely. And uh, as I said, it is not a test of uh, your knowledge or some authentic facts and figures. It's about creating opportunities for yourself to showcase your English. So you can build some stories and you can be spontaneous in your thinking. Just that you, you should not go too, uh, you know, out of the topic. You should not be very tangential in your thinking. Stick to the point, but then still you can build stories around that point. I think that's pretty much about it. So I'm not really worried about your speaking, honestly. Even if you go tomorrow and do it, I know you will do it. Just that those basic hygiene factors are being taken care of. Writing is something which you have to work on. Listening, reading is already in place. So you are pretty much ready to fly. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. All the best to you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.